was an amazing moment because there was chaos at NBC. I had been the White House correspondent. I go from covering Nixon resigning into doing morning television. Jane, not that long out of Indianapolis through Chicago, arrives with the whole world looking in. Not that long out, out of college, Tom. Out of college, even. Yeah. And we were like, I used to describe it as Das Boat. We were put in this life raft and sent to sea to my, kind of make our way. And the fact that we did make our way and that we remained friends uh, is really pretty remarkable. And I don't know whether you could do that anymore. For me to join this incredible uh, program was, uh, but there were only three networks. And there was only one morning show before Good Morning America had just started, so uh, it, was a, it was a real turning of the wheel. Um, you won't remember Barbara Howard, but she was a, a, a figure in the Johnson administration, kind of a, you know, a brassy Texan, and she was on the show one morning, and, and she, I remember her taking me aside privately and saying, um, Jane, you've got to stop telling people how old you are. They're going to remember. <laughs> and my thought was, having 13-week uh, contracts, that was my cycle. My contract cycle was in, literally every 13 weeks. That growing old on television was not something I would need to be worried about. So uh, while I, um, I've always been future-oriented, in terms of my career, I felt like I was living minute to minute, to be honest. And I think it's only in the last, you know, my late 40s, 50s, uh, now I'm 63, uh, that I've had a, a kind of a long-term perspective, uh, both forward and backward.